All right, so have you ever gone through such problems like when you try to read a file in Linux, let's say using the cat file one.txt like this. So you are getting the permission denied. Maybe if you are able to read the file like file.txt, although when you try to edit this file, let's say file.txt, see at the bottom, it is a read only file. So even I, I try to insert something, so it is giving me a warning that I can't edit or change this file at all, right? For example, I, I can see there are two folders. Uh, when I try to move into a folder like uh, folder one, let's say permission denied. Another case is, for example, if I am able to enter into a folder two, my folder two, okay, it was successful. Okay, but here, if I try to create a file, touch my file, etc. So I can't create the file at all. So if you want to know what's the reason behind it and how you can fix it or how you can understand the issue for that, you need to understand the file permission. Now let's first see how to check the permissions of the files or folder within a location. You can simply use ls ltr, which is my personal favorite or use, you can also use ll command. Okay, I can also show you here. So if I simply used ls, so you can still see uh, the files and folder, but you can't see the permissions. If you simply execute the ll command or ls ltr, we are getting the lot of information, including the type of files, which is the first character. So for example, if you are seeing the D, D is for directory because this is a folder. And uh, if these are the normal files, so you will see something like this, the dash or hyphen. After this, you know, whatever the pattern you are seeing, it is a purely a permission. Apart from this, we are also seeing this, uh, which is the user or the owner of this file, group owner of this file. Okay. And the size and the last time or day uh, it was edited, but we will be focusing more on the permissions and the ownership part, because these are the responsible for the errors you were getting like the permission denied. Okay. If we talk about the types of permission we can assign to a file or folder or the combinations of permissions, here are three basic types. One is R for read, W for write and X for execute. And on the terminal also, we are seeing the permission in the form of RWX, which simply means read, write and execute. Very simple. Now uh, we are seeing some different types of patterns or permissions in front of the files or folder. For example, one pattern is this, the other pattern is this. So what does it mean? So let's break it down further and understand this pattern. So basically the permission is divided into three parts. First three character, let's say RWX. Okay. So this group or this, these three starting character belongs to the user or owner of the file. Okay. Second group that is the RWN hyphen. It uh, belongs to the group group owner of a file or a folder. And the third one is others, any other user who is accessing or this server or sharing this space or something. So in our setup, let's take uh, the example of file one.txt. Okay. Now who is the owner of this file root? Okay. So root user is the one who created this file. So he's the user or the owner and uh, who is the group owner of this file? So group is also a root first three character belongs to the user. So RWX, so means user has only read write permission. So he can read the file or the write the file or edit the file or delete the file, anything, right? So in this case, the group has only the read permission and the other users must means anyone apart from the root user has no permissions. So if you can see there is a dash 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 means there is no permission for other users. So if you notice that I am, I am currently logged in as a Paul user. Okay. So Paul user is different. Root user is different, right? That is the reason when I am, you know, logged in as a root user and try to read this file, file one. Okay file one.txt. So I can't even read this file. Now, if we see the permission of file.txt. Okay. So for the other user here, we can see the last three character, which is, uh, for the other users, right? So for the other user, at least we have a read permission R. Okay. So we were able to read this file file.txt. 
See, now we already understood the read and write permission. But what is the meaning of X or means execute permission? So for example, if you see this folder one, okay, and the permission. So for the other user, for, because I am a Paul right now, okay. So for the other user, what is the permission? If you see, I only have read permission of folder. So if I try to enter like folder one, I can't do it. But similarly, and here for the folder two, if you can see for the other user, it is having the read or execute permission. Okay. Execute means you can enter into that folder. Okay. If I try a uh, folder two, yes, I can move inside that folder, but there is a problem for the folder two. If you see, there is no right permission. No write permission means you can't write, add or edit something, you know, in that area. So if in that case, if, if inside the folder two, if I try to create a file, like touch my file, I can't do it. All right. So we have already covered how to check and understand the permissions. But if you are still wondering that why these permissions are there, why there are so many restrictions. So the only answer is the security. Right. For example, here we have seen that these files and folders are created by the root user, which is the admin user, or the super user. Okay. Maybe this file is very confidential and very uh, important, critical, right? And this root user or the admin user doesn't want anyone else to touch this file or change this file or to delete this file. So in that case is the permissions plays an important role. Okay. Although we have understood how to check the permissions and all and why it is important. Let's now understand and see how we can change and modify the permission to change the permission. We use ch mode or change mode command. One example of the syntax is in front of you. That is ch mode a plus rwx. And after then name of your file or folder. Very simple. V what is the meaning of a plus rwx plus means we are adding the permissions. Or if you want to remove the permission, you have to use a subtract or minus sign. Very simple. What permission you want to provide like RWX or anything. And instead of A, you can simply use U for user, G for group, O for other. So here we are using A means like user, group and others. Okay, let me try CH more. Okay, A plus RWX and the name of the file or folder. So let's say file.txt, very simple, right? So what I'm trying to do, A means all, everything, everywhere. Okay, I need to set the permission as RWX, very simple, as soon as I hit enter. Okay, so why we are getting this error? Reason is very simple, because we are trying to change or modify the permissions of a file created by someone else, right? Because if you see the owner of this file is root user, right? And you are currently logged in as a Paul user. So how you can change the permission? Otherwise, there is no point of, you know, setting the permission as the security, right? So I was just trying to show that you can't change the permission of file created by someone else. So this is one thing you have to keep in mind. Now, for example, uh, if you are, you know, working in an organization or a company, IT company, let's say. So if you really want to use any file or a location, you have to contact your uh, server admin, okay, the server engineer or something and request them to provide you the sufficient permission so you can use that location. Very simple. Now, let's uh, uh, get back to the point. Now, in order to change this file, okay, I can do one thing. As a Paul user, I can create a file, let's say touch, uh, let's say Paul file. Okay. Very simple. If I do LL, so you can see the Paul, Paul file. Uh, let me try to change the permission of this file, ch mode, a plus rwx, Paul file. Okay. Okay. So right now, currently the permissions are like this. Okay. As soon as I hit enter and do LL. So you will see the Paul file, you know, the uh, the color also changed to uh, green because it is like all green, all the permissions are assigned and you can see the permission now as the RWX, RWX, RWX. Very simple, right? 
now so rwx for others means any user any user can perform any action on this file so very simple it's totally your requirement what permission you want to apply let's also see some other ways to use a ch mode command for example ch mode now only read permission to other user what you can use o for other okay equal to equal to r only read permission and pol file okay very simple if you do ll so now you can see for the other users you only have r if i use uh, g equal to r means group if i do ll so you will see for the pol for the group and for the others it is only having the read permission you can also use uh, let's say for the user rwx you need to remove the x or execute permission you can simply use u means user or the owner minus we are removing x okay and pol file very simple ll so you can see the color has been changed because we don't have the execute permission and you can see we have removed the execute permission one more thing uh, for the execute permissions on file that is also important for the script for example this is not a normal file but that is a script which is a executable file so you have to provide the execute permission in order to run that script okay here are some different ways to use the ch mode command so we have already seen these examples u plus x means adding uh, permissions removing the permission you have to use minus sign in the combination like u equal to rwx comma g equal to rw comma o equal to r so in one line you can uh, set all permissions let's also talk about the numeric method to change the permission which is also called as the octal method okay so you can also use some numeric value in front of uh, the ch mode commands like this ch mode 777 and the file name or the folder name so this is also kind of a shortcut if you want to provide all the information to a file simply use ch mode 777 very simple pol file and if i do ll so you can still see in front of the pol file all the permissions has been assigned but what is the meaning of these numeric number or the octal format let's first talk about the there are three numbers so means first for user second for group and third for others for each uh, number there is a meaning for example uh, we have used the seven like for seven means read write and execute all the permissions okay for example if there is zero like there is no permission it if we provide one this is that is the execute only so you can use the combination for example i am using the 700 so it's meaning for the owner we are providing seven that is the read write and execute zero means for group group no permission other for no permission that is also a uh, we can do okay let me try this ch mode 700 pol file l so you can see for the user we have rwx for others there is no permission now let's talk about the manage ownership a case where root user or super user created a file and now he wants the other user to manage or own those file or the folder it's better to transfer the ownership okay so we can simply use ch own uh, which also used the change ownership command okay ch own and we can provide the username and group name in the form of username colon group name okay this or and the name of the file or folder let me try to change the ownership of file1.txt for this i need to switch to admin user for simply i will use su and uh, root and i am in the same but i am currently logged in as a root user so to change the ownership because i want that this file1.txt now i want the pol user should own and manage this file upon i will simply do ch own pol pol means first is owner second is group okay and file 1 uh, sorry file1.txt very simple if i do ll now you can see for file1.txt the pol is the owner now okay if i i will simply exit from here so i am again back to pol user okay and uh, file1.txt if i try to read this file file1 uh, file1.txt so yes of course i can read this file even this is a root file because 
the root user change the ownership and if you want to only change the group uh, so you can simply use ch group or the change group command ch grp group the name of the group and the name of the file very simple if you are still confused with this group part let me explain you very quickly suppose uh, you have a server a linux server which is being shared by let's say five users okay now out of that five users if you want to share this file file1.txt with three users you can create a group add those three username in that group okay and change the group ownership of this file to that new group so those three user which is a part of that group let's say the qa group can now access this file very simple hope you found this video uh, helpful in that case hit that like button and uh, if you are new to this channel please uh, subscribe the channel thanks for watching